all right friends in previous class we learned how to write a code in java to make a connection between them now we are going to create a JFrame for login window for creating a new JFrame right click on login system folder go to new go to JFrame form and click then a window is appear for asking a name for new JFrame now we are giving login underscore JFrame then click to finish now we can see a window is created successful Here are three tabs one is for source code second is for design and third is for history so now we are going to design here are some swing components we will use in our projects swing containers swing controls swing menus swing windows and so on so you can drag these component towards to your window select these label and drag these to the window first label is for username second label we are taking for password and we need a text field for username and a password field for password so select this password field and drag it to the window and we required a button for login So right click on this label, click on edit text, write user name here, right click password and right click on this text field, edit text and press back specs on your keyboard, clear same step repeat on this password field press back spec and clear the text now we write a code for this button for adding an action listener for this button we click on this login button two times you can see automatically created a action listener for this button in NetBeans id but before these we need to write some classes here
these all the classes will be used for their own purpose these classes is coming from sql package so we need to import the sql package in this constructor we need to make a connection to our mysql connect class so write a code here then let us start to write a code in j button action listener before writing a code we need to give variable name of every component which we will use in our action listener so username text field we are changing its variable name so we are giving txt underscore username txt underscore password and our button variable name btn underscore login Now we are writing a try catch block. Write a query. Select a strict from DB login where username is equal to what and password is equal to question mark. This query means select asterisk from table login where username is equal to what and password is equal to question mark it means these username we are using as in our database these username this column name we are using in our query here and the password column name we are using here Further, PST is equal to con dot prepared prepared statement. Then terminate it. Then PST dot set the string with one the SQL. Uh, now we need to copy the variable name. To copy this variable name, press Control plus C then click ok 
and paste it here after paste this variable name type dot get name mister again pst dot set string copy this variable name password field variable name and paste it here then press dot get text sorry here also should be get text after that a result set will generate the result before execute query we are using a if statement for further results so if rs dot next if our connection successful then or if our login successful it will show the successful login successful message so we are using the option pan here this line copy and paste it also in else section and login fail now let's run Okay, it's give us an error. We didn't include a MySQL connector class, so let's go on library folder, click right, click add a jar file folder, and select a MySQL connector where you saved it. I saved in this folder java jar file which reside in desktop click open it's included then right click database connection is successful these messages come from this mysql connect class database connection is successful now we are checked login our username is jhon and password is 123 jhon and password is 123 then click on login login successful if will if we are leave it empty then again click on login it show a message login fail login fail okay j join john and password is 123 login successful